Hello there, Ted. Greetings and salutations, how's everybody doing? So we're back to looking at, um, more anime-based films. In this case, we're looking at Porco Rosso. Um, a film by Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli. So what's the plot of this film? Well, the plot revolves around an Italian, an Italian one 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 X fighter ace now living as a freelance bounty hunter chasing air pirates in the Asianic Sea. However, an unusual curse has transformed into him into an anamorphic pig, once called Marco Pagot. Um, he is now known as Poco Rosso, also known as, in Italian, known as Red Pig. I think I knew about this film. I think I known it because at one time I think um, Doug Walker had reviewed it for uh, Disney Simber, um, and I had like thought, like, hmm, like you know, sometimes like you know when you hear someone give the idea, you know, like the basis of a film, you feel like saying, huh, this sounds interesting. You get it in the breaches of your mind and think, huh, I'll put that aside. I'll try to get to that when you can and all that. Um. And having been to, um, Italy before, I gotta say that I really like this movie. This, I feel like, say, the film was actually based on a manga that Miyazaki had actually, um, made. And I gotta say that it seems like he had a really, well, he had a love for planes. At the same time, he also seemed to have a really love for the country of Italy. Whether it was its landscapes and all that. So, um, the film it had like you know originally came out in 1992, and then it had like a like a dub in 2005 for English. And you know with the American cast included Michael Keaton, Carrie Elwes. Kimberly Williams Paisley, Susan Egon, David Owen Stars, Tom Kennedy, uh, Bill Fagerback, and Tom Walker and Michael Richard, Kevin Michael Richardson. And both versions are available on um, HBO Max or just Max. I gotta say, this film was animated beautifully. I love the moments when it, like the film takes its time to like, just show moments of like the characters are just flying all over the sea <laughs> It was just animated beautifully. I love the little moments of, like, say, when Porco is, like, when they are going to go to get his plane refixed and all that, and ever so often there could be a chase sequence. It just, this film has a sense of adventure. It feels like, say, like a film that would have came out in the 1950s. But, in a way, like, it has that, the atmosphere, the vibes of something like a old school film, but, you know, animated. God was telling you it wasn't your time yet. You think? Seems to me he was telling me I was a pig and maybe I deserved to be all alone. You can't believe that! You're a good person! No, the good guys were the ones who died. Or maybe I'm dead and life as a pig is the same thing as hell. Now go to sleep. And it has this real sense of charm. Whether it's in the Japanese, um, you know, original or you watching it in the English dub. 
you can see that all the actors in both versions are giving a all the characters that they are playing individually a sense of charm. <laughs> And yeah, I really, I lo honestly, I kind of say think that even though uh, the character of Donald Curtis, yes, we know he is the antagonist of the film, but at the same time, like even though he is, you know, trying to put like you know, um, Porco out of like you know, like in, he's like being paid, like he's being paid by the gangsters in a way. Um, at the same time. Like, he's, like, you know, like, he's not, like, say, stereotypically evil. He has his own, like, things he wants to do. He wants, he's an actor. He's a pilot. He has a sense of, this is what I want in life. And who's that? Oh, it's Mr. MVP, Sam! But, at the same time, I don't think he is, like, say, a generally evil character. Because, at the same time, like... Um, like, at, especially at the end of the film, like, he goes, like, hit both him and Porco grow to, in a way, respect each other, like, even though they are about to, um, in a way, shoot e each other out of the sky, they eventually do, in a way, like, you know, hey, like, you know, I could have won that, I could have won that, and he goes, like, say, shut up, and all that, and I don't, I don't know, I've, I really did like this film. I really did. I liked all the... This film has a sense of adventure to it. Not like, say, um... Like, Spirited Away and all that. But most of, like, say... In a way, like, you know, you're wanting to, like, say... Take a breath. Um, look at the atmosphere. Look at the scenery and all that. And... Yeah, I really like this, it, especially in the moment when... Like, it, especially, like, say, with the film, like, when uh, Porco and the character of Gina, they seem to have, like, almost a love relationship, but it seems that Porco is, like, say, well, would anyone really love me in the fact that, you know, I'm... I had changed into this pig man sort of thought thing, and yeah, I really did love this film. I'm really willing to re recommend it. See you next time.